Fast enough, Jim. Come on. How about you and the boy uh, help me clean out the stables? Sure. Come on, son. Okay. Well, you get them stalls cleaned out, and I'll see you later. Bye. Okay. Jack, let's just try and take some pride in this work, hard as it may be. Boy, bring that wheelbarrow over here and keep it close to me. Yes, sir. Coming. You're a long way from Angelo Bronte's mansion now. Sorry, sir. Nothing. Slinging to shit shoveling. Great. That stinks. say we're almost done here. You finish things up, I'll go check on her. Okay. Hey. Hey. Where's Jack? Shoveling shit in pursuit of the better life you want. Same as I've been. Won't do him no harm. I know. Guess maybe we can last here. Survive. Do a little better than survive for once. I'm tired of fleeing, John. So, well, you know. Me too. Put some coffee on. <laughs> Does he like dead bodies on it? <laughs> you want to watch your mouth, boy. You will be the first one we kill. Leave him alone. Oh, careful, boys. Careful. Yeah. Look at this tough guy. Get out of here. Oh, fancy pants get. He's paying you to be tough for him, huh? <laughs> no, he's paying me to keep the place clean. Oh. Said he had some problems with vermin. Oh, listen to this. Real funny. <laughs> no! Oh, oh, get him now. Get him. Oh. That boy can punch! Yeah. Oh, no. Jim, get off that man! Get off him! He hit me first. Oh, you can fight, boy. I'll give you that. Well, how's your wife in the brawl? Leave my wife alone. Oh, she's real pretty. Get out of here! Oh, quite a temper you got. Imagine you're you're frustrated with your lot in life, married to a shit shoveling farmhand. <laughs> What'd you do wrong to end up here? Leave my wife alone. Welcome to Big Valley, Jim Milton. Pleasure to meet you both. We'll see you again. And you, boy, tell Mr. Geddes we called. We'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Milton. Thank you. Don't worry about it. You stop acting like a goddamn storybook hero, will ya? What choice did I have? Plenty, you moron. Plenty.
We all get caught eventually, John. I guess the trick is to decide by who. I should like to have a... Mr. Geddes? Hey, I heard we had another incident with the uh, Laramie boys. Yeah, there was an incident. Well, I mean to scare me. Are you scared? A little. I've got a lot invested in this place, and, and not just the land, but, but my family. It's, uh, it's hard to explain. I understand. I'll do my best to keep you safe, sir. Uh, I know you will. So how's your family? Uh, just fine. I should probably... Head back. <laughs> yeah, I know how it is. <laughs> How'd you get on? Okay, I guess. Better? Sure, I'm just tired. I know. Anybody want some more? Mm. Uh, no, no, I'm thank good. You. I miss Mr. Pearson. John Marston, you're such a pig! <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's getting late. Let's get some rest. Good night, Jack. Good night, Mama. Good night, Jack. Good night, Pa. What the hell was that? What are you, what are you doing? My job, Abigail. Lock this door behind me. Don't open it unless you know it's me. They've killed Mr. Tolbert, and they've stolen my goddamn cattle. You men okay? I think so. Yeah. Jim Milton saved my life. It's Mr. Abel. Yeah, of course, it's Mr. Abel. I can't believe he thinks he can scare me out of here. Then I guess we're getting your cattle back, I guess sir. we are. Can you go too, Tom? Of course, sir. All right, Jim. I know you can handle yourself. A little. Go get your guns and head out. Guns? Oh, don't play coy with me, son. We need your help. I don't care what you used to do or what your, your, your name is. This is the land of second chances. Understood. Okay. Come in. It's me. What was it? Mr. Getty's cattle was taken. God, I'm sorry to hear that. What are you doing in that thing? Mr. Getty's been real good to us. We... I... What are you doing? My job, Abigail. My goddamn job. I'll lead the way here. We'll be better on foot. Okay. If you say so. Whoa! That's the place up ahead. There's our cows. A couple guards out front. A couple more around the side, I imagine. Let's get a closer look. Let's go. Yeah, there's plenty of guards. I'm gonna head straight in. Yep, Tom, you head up there and try and give us some cover. Abe, you're gonna try and flank the place and come in from the back. I'll give you a minute or two, then I'm heading in. Yes, sir. Okay. Hey! Hey! You boys been coming up to Pronghorn. I thought I'd come down here. You're all so tough. Come have a word with me. You here to cut a deal? You're too late, partner. I'm here for our cattle. And to teach some manners to all of you. We're stinking shit shoveling backwoods. Oh. Sacker, no good trash. <laughs> You know that woman of yours got the look of a woman ain't had a real ride in her life. She's got to make do with some piss poor stinking farmhand. Hey, hey, tell her I'll let her in my sheets. As long as she bathes first in seat dip. Well, Mr. 
Mr. Milton. This man can really fight. Save the whole place. Ah, <laughs> that won't work nothing. Well, you, oh, you, <laughs> you saved my life. No need to say nothing, sir. Just doing my job. Now, I don't think they'll be back tonight, but how about Abe? Just in case you stay up. Yep. You see anything or hear anything, you fire that rifle three times. Three times. We'll all come running. Will do. Uh, well said. And thank you, Mr. Milton. Truly. Just glad to be of service, sir. <laughs> I understand. You get some rest. Thank you, Mr. Geddes. What? What? What choice did I have? Just answer me that. What was I supposed to do? Just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once. That's all I'm saying. How you getting on? Surviving. I think. Here. I'll get you some coffee. Only thing I know how to do is... Well, you know, undertakers like me. Cattle. Not so much. That ain't true. I ain't no rancher. Rustled horses, not raised them. Stole cattle, not birthed them. I was... I was reading the newspaper. I was reading about a old ranch, Beecher's Hope, down by Blackwater. Was you? Well, Jack read it to me, but... I thought maybe we could raise some money. Bank could lend us the rest. We could be happy, John. We Bank could... loans? I got a... Goddamn price on my head, woman! I know! I know all about that! Every time we about to get somewhere, make something, you go and show the entire world that you ain't Jimmy Milton! Every place we've been has been the same! We start doing okay and then boom! You act like the big man with the gun! I'm tired, John, and... I guess I was dreaming a little. At least give me that. Just... feels hopeless. You're... You're doing better. Milton! Milton, ma'am. Mr. Geddes needs you to head over to Strawberry in the wagon and collect some mail for him at the post office. Sure. I'll take the boy with me. He's getting soft. Lancelot! Come on. Jim, if you're heading that way, can you pick up a parcel for me? A dress I ordered. I think it's in your name? My name. I, I think so. One's in your name, and the other's in mine. O only one should have come in by now. How much shopping you done? Oh, yes. A real keen purchaser of goods, me. Look at me. <laughs> okay, Lancelot. We'll make a man out of you yet. Not too much of a man, mine. He's only a boy. I'm just gonna show him how to drive the wagon a little. We'll save the real exciting realities of adulthood for another day. Come on. Get! You take care now. Cool. Hi, I'm here to... Name? M my name? Uh, Jim Milton. Jim Milton. Hmm. <laughs> nope. Nothing here. Uh, maybe try... Marston. John Marston. It's a long story. Okay. John Marston. Marston... Nope. Nothing here for that name, either. Try Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Hmm. Yes, here we are. And also, I'm here to pick up the deliveries for Pronghorn Ranch. David Getty sent me. Pronghorn? Yes, er, uh, oh, er, uh, sign here. We have a bunch of stuff for you. I will help you out. 
I'll take these. You get the rest of the stuff. Here, let me help you with this, Mr. Marston. Ah, uh, it's uh, mostly Milton these days. It's a long story. Whatever you say, Mr. Milton. It's not important. Take care now. Give my regards to Gettys. Thank you very much, mister. Okay. Let's get out of here. Everything okay, Pa? Sure. I hope so, at least. Here. You take the reins a little. I ain't sure. Come on, son. You'll enjoy it if you try a little harder. Okay. Okay, Pa. Sounds like I heard what you heard. We're going back to Pronghorn, okay? So well Down and high. Oh, Pa. You need to do exactly as I say, boy. Here, now! Uh, come on! Quick! Now! Okay, son. You wait here. You don't move or say nothing until I speak to you. You hear? Yes, sir. Head down. Okay, gentlemen. Let's see what you come calling about. What do you boys want with us? Oh, we just want to have a friendly chat. Are you John Marson? You sure look like him. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just here with my son. Did you kill a fella out in Roanoke a few months back? No. Wasn't me. That was my brother. I'm real sorry, friend, but he was trying to rob. Me. You're talking bullshit, mister. Kill him. Oh. Face it's okay. You're okay. What? Why? What? It's okay. It's okay. Come on. Keep them eyes closed. Let's go. Come on. Get up. This is slow. You know how to get there? Oh dear, those men! I told you Go say hi to your mother. How is the... What happened? Yeah. It's... I don't... We got shot at. Shot at? What happened? Well, we got followed, and then... We... Followed by who? Probably someone who knew me. If we didn't get to them particulars, I'm sorry. My son. Our son! It was your dress that caused all the problem. It weren't even a dress. It was a gift for you. Hey, Mr. Jim? Mr. Jim? Hey! Uh, there's a telegram messenger for you over there, in, near the house. There is? Okay. Thanks, Abe. What do you think you want? Uh, excuse me, mister. I'm Jim Milton. Heard you had a telegram for me? Yes. Here. Sign there. Thank you. Huh? Jim, stop. If you're the JM I know, stop. It's Sadie Adler. I've got something to discuss. Pay good. Meet me in saloon in Valentine. I'm there most days. Stop. Sadie Adler. I'll be damned. Abigail!
Darling John, a kind lady in the village helped me write this. She had men problems of her own, but that's a different story. Listen, I've begged you, but it don't seem to make much difference. I've tried everything I know to make you grow up. And you know I love you, but loving you means I can't watch you do this. Time after time, we've had to run because of your behavior and your decisions. We got a son. I got a son. And I love our son enough that I can't have him around while you're like this. I had so many dreams, John. I hoped you would change. We all saw what happened to them that didn't, but you... Part of you is hell-bent on ending up the same way. And I love you too much to watch that no more. Abigail. Where's the wife, Milton? Uh, she's out. I saw her leaving with the boy and the bags. What's going on? You married, Mr. Dickens? No. That don't surprise me. What'd she do? Catch you with a showgirl? Or hear about you shooting more fellas over by Strawberry? Just who are you, Jim Milton? I'm a family man. I can handle a gun, sure. Them men shot at me. Just interested, that's all. Ain't nothing interesting. Unless you find gossip about a man's marriage worthy of your time. Guess not. There's work to be done. Unless you're running off too. I ain't going nowhere. I'm here to work. Gotta save money, get her what she wants. What does she want? She wants a place of her own. Said she found a plot up at Beecher's Hope. You? A rancher? You'll starve. Probably. <laughs> Keep yourself busy. Take your mind off it. That's her fool. Hey, you know, I was wrong about you. Turned into a fine worker, Jim Milton. Oh, thank you. Means a lot. Hey, you think I could speak with Mr. Geddes? See if maybe he's open to offering me some guidance? No, I'm sure he'd be happy to hear you speak, at least. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. Hey, son. How's that bull? Fine, Mr. Milton. Your father in? Can I have a word? Sure. I'll just get him. Pa! I'm right, right here. <sighs> What's the problem, Milton? I'm sorry for the disturbance, sir. Oh, no problem. My wife, she just began her morning discourse on the subject of my faults. Hmm. Experience I think every man can relate to. In some ways. 
My wife... My wife also has issues with some of the decisions I've made. Real issues. Hmm? Do you believe a man can change, sir? Where is this heading? I guess I don't know. <clears throat> I've tried to be a good hand. I've worked hard to secure your property. And for that, we are grateful. And you've paid me well, besides. The thing is, I suppose, I need to get a place of my own so I can prove to my wife that I've changed. I understand. But I ain't got much money. I ain't asking to borrow none. But maybe you could go to the bank and put in a good word so they could give me a loan? A loan, huh? So I can buy that place, Beecher's Hope? Yes, I know it. Yes, of course, sure. It'd be, it'd be my pleasure. But take my advice, Milton. Take your money and go buy passage on a boat. Go to Brazil and forget all about family. I'm just joking, son. Just make sure you deal with Ansel Atherton at the bank. He's a distant cousin. He has my name. Tell him to ask me direct himself. You'll get what you need. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I was young and dumb once, too. <laughs> You'll get her back. I thought I told you to leave it, Bubba. And I thought to myself, who this little girl thinks she's telling anything to? Uh, enjoy your drink in peace. <laughs> I ain't got no business with you right now. What that mean? For the last time, leave me alone. Or what? <laughs> what <is> that? <sighs> Get the hell out of here before she kills us all. You, you. Get out of here. John Marston! It is good to see you. <laughs> I thought I heard a rumor you was alive. Jim Milton, that you? Guess I didn't do a real good job of hiding my identity. <laughs> we didn't hear nothing about you. You... you kill a feller up by Roanoke? Sure did. I thought that sounded like you and Abigail and Jack. She... She's fine. <laughs> She was always so kind to me. I'm looking to buy us a property. Beecher's Hope, west of Blackwater. I'm kind of a farmer now. <laughs> and you? Oh, you know how it is. Bounties mostly and some other stuff, good and bad. Hey, you any interest in bounties? No, uh, I've gone straight. Huh? Sort of. <coughs> oh, it's legal. I'm um, usually. Then. Maybe. Come on, then. What? Where are we headed? Strawberry. Got on the run from New York. Good price for him. What'd he do? Rob a bank. With a gun? Nope. With a pan. He's an accountant, I think. Sounds easy. Hello. You look hungry. All right. See what you can find. Like I said, the feller's name is Nathan Kirk. You, uh, you seen a fella? A fella from New York? Bald guy? Yeah. A few New Yorkers come here in search of the West. Well, this one's a wanted man. I work for the government. Uh, s s sort of. His name's Nathan Kirk. Mr. Kirk, but he's so charming. Is he staying here? He's, uh, up in room three. I'm gonna go pay him a visit. It's government business. 
How exciting. Mr. Kirk! Mr. Kirk, you in there? Who is it? It's just a friend. Stop! Hey! That's Nathan Kirk! Oh! Got him? Oh, shut up! Thanks for that, Mr. Kirk. Real fun. I, I'm an innocent man! But it's all a mistake! My wife... My wife is a, is a desperate woman. How, how are you married, sir? None of your business what I am. She made me do it. She broke me. I did bad, but I'm not bad. There is a difference. This is persecution! Where shall I send the money? I ain't been paid yet. Hold on to it for me. Need to speak to the bank over in Blackwater. Get a loan for the property. Might make them happy to see I've got a boss. So I've got a couple of other leads I could use your help with if you're interested. I'm usually at the saloon in Blackwater. I need money pretty bad, so... I'll come find you. Good day. Yeah. Come on in. I'm looking for Mr. Atherton. I'm a friend of Mr. Getty's over at Pronghorn Ranch. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Mr. Atherton is in his office. Hey, please head in. Thank you. Yeah. Can I help you? I hope so. <clears throat> I want a loan, sir. A line of credit, so I can buy some property. What property? An old ranch, Beecher's Hope. <laughs> that old dump? I know it ain't much, but I ain't much of a farmer either. But I will get there. That is a very unusual way of asking for a loan. Mr. M Marston. Marston. Only folk around here call me Milton. It's kind of a joke, I guess. <laughs> a joke, huh? And which folk? Mr. Geddes. Uh -huh. I work for him. He said that you could help me out. I mean, if you can. So old David Geddes told you I'm the kind of man to loan a man with two names money so he can buy a run-down farm on account of his lack of farming skills, huh? <laughs> Don't sound too promising when you put it like that. <laughs> well, how would you put it? Sorry to waste your time, sir. Oh, sit down. I'm sure we can figure something out. Now, of course, we'll be expecting you to make regular payments, and given a lack of much evidence you got any means of repaying, the terms won't be too great. But if my cousin vouches for you, it'll be okay with the bank. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Now, of course, we'll be expecting our money back regular as clockwork until the debt's settled. Otherwise, the farm reverts to the bank, no matter how much you paid. I understand. Well, why don't you go check out the land while I fix the contracts and talk to Mr. Geddes. Oh, I heard there's squatters up there. We've been having so many problems recently, they'll need clearing on. Sure. Well, come back when you're done and we'll fix up the paperwork. friend I hope so who's in charge here no one mister this is a free country <laughs> now that I ain't so sure about listen I'm buying this land I'm afraid I'm afraid you guys are gonna have to go somewhere else <coughs> who's this I ain't sure some fancy damn city boy says he owns this land. Well, he's gonna. Owns it? That's what he says. Okay. 
And how come we live in here? I ain't sure. Get the hell out of here! This land belongs to me now! Ain't nothing on this earth belongs to no one, partner! Looks like you made your decision then, partner! Ah, you! The man with two names and no past. Come on in. How'd you make out? Well, let's just say there are no more squatters. Okay. Well, I got your paperwork ready. Now, you sure about buying this place? It's really run down, and the price isn't too great. I think it would mean a lot for my wife. At least mean I was listening to her. Okay. Well, sign here and here. Now we own you, Mr. Marston, and we own Mr. Milton, too, and we own your property. But you can buy your freedom each week. Eventually, you will be a homeowner. I understand. Congratulations. You are now a real American, indebted and owned by the bank. <laughs> I'm joking. They own me. They just own your property. Now, you can also use this line of credit for any home improvements you need to make, of course. I can? Sure. Be good, Mr. Marston. Welcome to home ownership. It's a beautiful thing. Let your wife know what to complain about. <laughs> I'm just joking. Well, it is you. Well, I never. I, I thought you was dead, boy. Dead. Uncle? The very same. Come here. <laughs> I saw you going into the bank, and by the looks of things, you ain't robbed it. I've gone straight. Oh, bull crap. No, for real. <laughs> well, I'm trying. All these years, you ain't changed a bit. Maybe a little bit. I thought you was dead. <laughs> not yet. Well, I got some things to take care no, of. No, not a problem. I'll come too. <laughs> no, you don't have to. No, I'm real sick, John. Lumbago. It's a slow and painful death, my brother. Evidently. Oh, have a little pity, will you? Huh? Come on, then. All right. <laughs> okay. Okay. What do you think? Why exactly did you buy this dump? For Abigail? Why? Is she an idiot? No. What were you thinking? I don't know. She said she wanted it. She ever seen it? What are we going to farm here? <laughs> Rocks? We? You don't have a hope here without a wise hand at the tiller. Enough of that. Get out of here. On your way. No. You're stuck with me. Seems I'm stuck with you. John, the rock farmer. <laughs> so... You think I'm an idiot? No. I know you're an idiot. Working hard? <clears throat> it's the lumbago. 
Now, if I overdo it, I I'll get a relapse. It's very serious. Get up or get out. Oh, you can be so testy. What is it? Constipation? Guess you're my proof I'll never quite outrun my sins. You got so sanctimonious in your old age. No wonder she left you. It's like rooming with the King James Bible. <laughs> get up! Ow! I, I, I'm getting up. Oh, no, wait, what did I have to tell you? I, I went into town. Uh, oh, I got, I got a little drunk. Uh, oh, shit! Well, we gotta go. We gotta go to Saint Denis. Charles. Charles Smith is alive, I reckon. Charles Smith alive? Really? I, I reckon. Unless I dreamed it all, and by the sound of it, not doing too good neither. Come on, let's get off. All right. Yeah. <sighs> Back in Saint Denis. I never liked this place. Oh, yeah. Well, me neither. <laughs> what took you so long? Oh, good lord. I was just beginning to enjoy some peace and quiet. <laughs> Ask that first barman I met. He told me Charles. Was here. Folks, they love a surprise. <laughs> Not one of life's great mysteries, <laughs> turns out. And you are a killer. We both know what you gotta do. I'm leaving now. He don't know the half of it. John? You're... You're... I'm alive. <laughs> so are you. <sighs> So's he. That's Uncle? What are you doing? I don't know. I'm alive. Uncle thought maybe he was in some sort of trouble. Uh, kind of, just... I don't know. I, I'm throwing fights for a few dollars. Throwing fights? Sure. And you like that? Of course not. So... So... Let me go place a bet. Come on. Man, I thought you were dead. Sure. Abigail's still alive too, only... She left me. Uh, excuse me. I'd like to place a bet. On who? On myself, to win. Lone Wolf. How much? All of this. Okay. Funny thing, I pegged you for the favorite, but the odds just got real good. What about you, sir? A uh, little wager on the wolf here? Real redskin brave. Ladies sure, I'm a fan of the wolf. Give me a bet on him. Have I got a treat for you. An epic battle between the descendant of ancient warriors and a not-so-noble savage. On my left, a ferocious battler from the valleys, Simon of Wales. And on my right, an Indian Hercules. The savage, the untamable, the unbeaten, and dare I say unbeatable, lone wolf. You know how this works. No weapons, no forfeiting, no crying like a beaten child. Everything else goes. You win by knockout, you win by retirement, or you win by death. Let's have a good fight, boys. Let's keep it clean, but not so clean. You know what to do, Senor Smith. Forza, forza. Hit him, Charles. Come on, Lone Wolf. Gotta get you the hell out of here. Hey! Lone Wolf! Whoa! How? Made my months, but you also made some fellas mighty unhappy. So it goes. It's your shit, partner. If we just made the bed, I said we So you keen on staying around here or heading off with me and Uncle? But, John, I haven't seen you two in years. I know. But right now, my sense is you just need to lie low. Where? We got a little place up past Blackwater, in the high country. Okay. I gotta grab my baggage. 
I booked a steamer heading up river. That's why I was pretending to throw the fight. Okay, boys. I'll meet you at the bridge outside Saint Denis. What are you doing? Oh, just have a few urns to run. <laughs> You're useless. I am a deep thinker. Be quick. Come on. Those calls, all that mayhem. If it wasn't for. Okay. Uh, hold on. What? Careful. Why? Those are Guido Martelli's men. Who? He. Uh. He used to work for Angelo Bronte. I've only been here an hour. Hey. Uh, Come over here. What now? Well, you go left. I go right. On three. Mm -hmm. Three. Get you couldn't have thrown that fight! Feels like old times. <laughs> Good to have the old gang back together again. Let's just hope things don't turn out like last time. Here he goes. What'd I tell you, Charles? Boy is as sour as weak old milk. No wonder she didn't stay with you. Not even a retired two dollar whore would stay with you. That's the goddamn truth. Now you used to be decent company, but now you're worse than a snake with a toothache. All he does is whine, whine, whine. Excuse me. Oh, don't get all angry. It ain't gonna change nothing. You're hopeless. And I mean that literally. You got no hope. I mean, look at you. Look at this place. Your dream home. I've had better nightmares than this dream. Oh, darling Abigail, I've changed. Come live with me in an outhouse I wouldn't ask my worst enemy to take a shit in. What are you trying to say? It's awful. It's a dump. The house has got to go. Well, get some self-respect, you miserable sack of shit. Build a house so the lady set foot in. The place just needs a woman's touch. It needs leveling. No woman would touch this place. Now, I reckon these horses can have it down in a minute. Here, come on. Tie that end around the horses. You loop that end around there. Horses will pull it clean down. <laughs> we good? I think so. All right. Well, <laughs> let's get going. Now just pull. You got this, John? I'll go when you do. OK. On me. <laughs> Trouble. And now? Now we head into town, buy ourselves a house, right out of a book. Same as if it were a bicycle. Where in town? Uh, there's a fella by the train store. Cakes hardwood and timber. Okay. You keep working here. But if I don't go with you, who's gonna Just tell you that? Just need a bit of peace and quiet from your incessant yapping. Charles, make him work. Whip him if you have to. Hello there. Hello, Sadie. Oh, John. <laughs> Come sit down. Sure. You, uh, got any work? Yeah. Well, there's always work. Whole country's getting robbed, robbing or stopping robbers. Well, seems like there ain't much else in this world except bastards, victims of bastards, and the bastards who want to put the bastards in the ground. And which are you, exactly? Me? In my time, all three. Same as most people. I guess. Well, funny thing about this job, well, opportunity, I just might get to be all three again. How you mean? <clears throat> you ever heard of uh, Shane Finley? Cattle wrestler? Murderer, thief, child killer. He's wanted in five states. I caught him last week. 
He was disguised as a lady in a house for fallen women. <laughs> I was bringing him in, and I got robbed by a professional rival of mine, James Langton. Oh, he's a nasty bastard. I didn't much like him even before he robbed me. That happened a lot. This line of work. Yeah, but they're all people like me. Anyway, now they're holed up in the desert down south, waiting to head north so they can hand them in to the state troopers in the north country. I'd given up on the job as just a bad lot, but now that you're here, maybe we can go rob them back. Is the money good? Yeah, it's real good. Plus, I don't much like getting robbed by no one. Come on. Where is it? We're heading again, you say? Mm. Be quicker if we both look. You got binoculars, don't you? I think I see something. Yup. There they are. Down there. Who's who? Well, the bounty is the feller who's all tied up. <laughs> Very funny. And that big fat feller with the funny hat, that's James Langton. The other fellas just work for him. Where do you think they're heading? Uh, come on. Let's go follow them. Grab him and bring him in, Joan. Sure. You're a bitch and a bastard. We brought in Shane Finley. Oh, great. Let's uh, put him in the cell. Damn you! Bastard! That's your cell. We're gonna watch you swing. What for? I didn't do anything. Nothing. Yeah, yeah. I thought you said you lost him. Well, I did, but we got him back. Oh, and James Langton's dead. We killed him. Why'd you do a thing like that? It was him that robbed me. Okay. Here. Here's a decent price on Finley. Mm-hmm. I know. <laughs> you want this money to go to the bank, too? No, I'll, uh, I'll take it myself. <laughs> okay, Jim Milton. It's John Marston here. All right, well, if you need any more work, you can find me in town. Or maybe I'll find you. I'm retired. Sure. <laughs> Be well, John. Excuse me, sir. You work here? 
No, I just hang around here for fun. Ha <laughs> joking, I'm joking. How can I help you, friend? I know this sounds crazy. Some dumb old coot, I know, is telling me there's these houses you can buy pre-cut. <laughs> Not crazy, friend. The very latest in modern convenience. Convenient and cost-efficient. Which house do you want? Each one is entirely unique, but also the same. Excuse me? Perhaps I'm going too fast, sir. Do you want to buy a house? I think so. I'll give you a luxurious, entirely unique pre-cut palace. And if you order today, I guarantee your home in a matter of weeks, maybe sooner. I'll take that one. Ah, yes, we have that one in stock. And I already got credit from the bank. Oh, fantastic. Now, you write your name here, and uh, you sign your name there, and you will be the proud owner of a factory-built home. It's that easy. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Martin. Albert Cakes, Esquire, at your service. You boys give me a minute. <sighs> what are you doing here? Everything okay? I'm not sure. Probably. A fella came by the farm. Got attacked on the road. He said the Skinner brothers was hanging around. Lots of them. Left Uncle armed to the teeth back at the ranch. Who are these two? Guns for hire. If they're Skinner's about, we need them. We ain't got that kind of money, Charles. You want to get robbed for your house? No, but... Hey, these Skinner's gonna be nasty. Come on. Mr. Devon, you're with me. Mr. Wayne, this is... Milton. Jim Milton. Sir, good to meet you. We're gonna be heading up to the Manzanita Post. Why? The best smith around is that Norwegian fella up there. Yeah, so they say. You boys ready? Yes, sir, we're ready. Good, because you're about to get shot at over a goddamn hammer. You want to build a house with a sniper rifle, then? I know old Neil's real well. I'll get you a good deal. Thank you, sir. All right, then. Let's go buy us some tools. You boys wait here. After you, Mr. Milton. Like I said, Nils is a, an acquired taste. Let me do this. <laughs> Nils. Nils, it's me. Willard Wayne. Okay. This is my associate, Jim Milton. Okay. He heard you was the best. Best Smith around. He needs some tools. He's building a ranch house up at Beecher's Hope. Beecher's Hope? Okay. Have you got any made? Uh, okay. Like I said, an acquired taste, but a heart of gold, and he's the best. You off someplace, Nils. Okay. So Milton is uh, working with Cakes Hardwood and Timber in town. Should I get them to pay you and add it to his bill up there? Okay. Come on, let's get moving. Okay. <laughs> All right, then. Beecher's Hope. Must have seen something in it I couldn't. World needs. Oh! 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 Everyone find some cover! Oh, damn! Under the wagons! All right. You alive? For now. Mr. Devon, you okay? Yes. Is that the last of them? I think so. There's more! They got the tools! They grabbed Mr. Wayne! All right, you stay here, guard the wagon. Charles, come on! Thank God, Lee! Okay, let's move! It... Mr. Wayne! Charles, I found the tools! Now, where's Mr. Jesus. We gotta move fast. Come on. Oh, 
Uncle! 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 I was... You useless sack of crap. I was keeping guard. Really? Whoa. What happened? Skinner Brothers. Bottom? Enough. Once this is done, I'll take Mr. Devin back to town and get poor Mr. Wayne buried. Okay. Be careful. Oh, I will. But I'm fairly sure we scared him off for now. Bad business. Well, we'll be safe together. Sure. If you say so. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. Those plans make any sense? Oh, sure. Seems easy enough, I think. How hard can it be? <laughs> but I'll tell you what I think. Just to be safe, I'll do the reading and planning, and you do the building. How did I know you'd try to weasel out of doing any work? Oh, now, that is plain unfair. It, it's inaccurate and not what's going to happen. I'm simply going to use what I've got, which is a brain. Why, you use what you've got which is less of a brain. <laughs> Let's get started. Well, first thing it says, the foundation, which involves moving those heavy wooden joists. Definitely not a job for a man with terminal lumbago, unless you want to dig a six-foot deep hole for me when the work day's over. Don't tempt me. Oh, well, here comes Charles. Maybe he can lighten the mood a little. How'd you get on? He'll be back, but not for a while. Charles, dear boy, John needs help moving these joists. Now, come on. Get a move on. We gotta get started before the rains come. You're very annoying. He's right. I should get on with this.
Let me have a rule and a saw and a board and I'll cut it Climb up a ladder with a hammer and a nail and I'll nail it Well, we worked so hard to build a little house together In the snow or the rain or the ice cold wind whenever No matter any weather We're together That's everything. <laughs> John Marston, you have a home. So do you. Oh, I know. And you, Charles, as long as you'll stay with us. Thank you. <laughs> Gentlemen, to this happy home. Well, at least till this fool gets his woman back. <laughs> My darling Abigail, I hope you and Jack are doing well. I remain a fool, and I'm sure I shall die a fool. But I'm trying very hard to be something like the man you deserve. I have done something very silly in an effort to impress you, and that is I've purchased a home. The land you read about in the newspaper up at Beecher's Hope is now ours, and we are going to try our hand at ranching. Mr. Geddes kindly helped me buy the land. I met Uncle while I was coming out of the bank, and while I know your feelings about him, he has been enormously helpful in his own fashion. Charles Smith has also appeared and is unsurprisingly a pillar of strength. Together, we've built you a home. I hope soon to show it to you. I miss you and the boy more than I can express. Please, come back to me. Yours always, John. Uncle, I thought you was... Where the hell? Just one time I hope to find you working. Just once. Do you believe in reincarnation, John Marston? No. Well, I hope and pray to whatever is out there that I get to come back as a youngin' so that when you're old and facing death, I can be some... Two penny slave driver that comes along and hastens your journey into the grave. This is a fatal condition I got. And I'll give you another fatal condition. We don't get on with things around here, and we'll all starve. Get on with what? Farming, ranching, planting something. Well, the only thing that this land's good for is grazing. Grazing? Yeah, so, so cows, sheep, goats. Now, goats is easy, but... They taste awful. I don't like goats. And cows, I've seen enough cows. Yeah, sheep then. But any livestock, you're gonna need a barn. Barn will take three of us six months to build. Oh, you don't build a barn, dumbass. What do you think this is, 1785? 
You buy one pre-cut just like the house. This is the industrial age. The lumber fillers all have them. That guy makes me hate the modern world. Oh, come on. I'll deal with them. And how are we? How's little Emily? Emily? I'm sorry, I've, uh, um, how are you? We need a barn. A barn? Of course you do. All them potatoes. We're gonna uh, farm livestock. What's wrong with you? How many Scarface loons you got coming in here buying pre-cut uh, homes? Right here, uh, what you think? Uh, have a look. <laughs> Maybe that one. Yeah, that We're one. an excellent choice. We have a couple already cutting in stock. I'll have it sent to you in Blackwater. I'm down at Beecher's Hope. Oh, I'm sorry. Of course, this is my wife, Jerry. You see, she's uh, but it, it's great seeing you again, Isle. Yeah, it's, and it's you, been sir. a pleasure as always. Great pleasure. Love your work. Of course. How are we gonna pay for this? <laughs> Same way we pay for everything. I just wish I could help you, sir. You've been a good customer, and I like you, and David Geddes likes you. Now, I, I... But this man <laughs> is very annoying. Can you just give me a few days? Of course. I really enjoy begging and watching you make a fool of yourself. Well, I... John! Hey! Is that Sadie Adler? <laughs> hey. John, how are you? Well, hello, Uncle. Nice to see you. Oh, and you too. Oh, shut up, you old creep. <laughs> Listen, Sadie, I... You got any work? I'm kind of desperate. Work? Hmm. How desperate? I need money. A bunch of money. My debt's climbing, and I... You up for a fight? Is it legal? <whistles> well, it's very legal, but it's also pretty dangerous. With you, it'll be fine, but I wouldn't do it on my own. I ain't got much choice. All right, then. Come on. <whistles> Look after him, Sadie. He's a delicate flower underneath. Tell the bank. Go search that barn. I'll take the main house. Holler if you get him. Cortez! We've come for you! You got him? I think so. He just tried to kill me. That's about right. Yeah, that's him. Come on. Let's get him to the sheriff. Come on, Ramon. Let's go for a ride. We're going to Rhodes. Rhodes? It's different there now. Uh, uh, that hurt. You want money? Gold? My men are meeting me at Dewberry Creek. Take me there. I'll pay you good. Better than any bounty. Oh, shit. Orders to kill that bitch. Two hundred? Mr. Sheriff? Mr. Sheriff, we got Ramon Cortez. Cortez? Sure did. Well done, Hal. Found him hiding in a pile of shit. <laughs> That's about right. <laughs> How you doing, Ramon? Oh, just fine, mister. <sighs> hey, how much you want? How much any of you want? I'll give $2,000 in gold to whichever one of you sets me free. <laughs> I'm afraid it's a bit late for that, Ramon. You've been a real bad boy. Me and my boys are gonna ride you into San Denis and watch them hang you. <laughs> okay, okay, if you think so, mister. <laughs> oh, I know so, Ramon. Take a seat. Help me guard them till my boys arrive and we can get them out of here. Sure. Uh, spent years cleaning up this town. Last thing I need is fools like this thinking they can take us back to the bad old days. Well, you did a good job. <laughs>
Thomas, Sheriff Thomas. We want their friend back. You have about 10 seconds, Sheriff Thomas, before we kill all of you fools. One. Don't be a dumb bastard. Two. This is a good town now. Three. Let them have it, boys. What was it? Come on. The jail. The jail. They blew my jail apart. He's gone. He's gone. Uh, well, we brought him in. Now, pay us what's owed. He ain't here now, madam. I don't get paid unless he makes it to San Denis. You want to get shot today as well as Rob, mister? Are you threatening me? Why would we bother threatening you? Get him back and I'll get your money. And another fifty dollars besides. A hundred dollars. Seventy-five. I can't go higher. Done. Let's go, Jim Milton. Come on. They must be camping down there. Why are they hanging around? Probably waiting for a boat. Uh, there's supposed to be a storm coming through, so maybe that's delayed them? Perhaps. So what do we do now? I'm gonna go get them. You. Me. You just cover me. I ain't getting you killed out there. But it's okay for you. I, I want to die. And besides, those bastards don't look that tough. I, they look asleep as far as I can tell. I'm gonna go. You sure about this? Just don't seem right. This is my show, John Marston. Do as you're goddamn told. And shoot well. Cortez! <laughs> I'm going to die anyway! So you really want me to shoot you? You might get lucky in court! Get over here! All right, all right, amigo! I'm coming! Try anything clever, you're gonna get shot. Oh, hold your horses, chica. Get out of there! <laughs> oh. <laughs> I said, get out of there! Easy, easy, girl. Oh, you gave up easy a long time oh. ago. <sighs> hey, look out. There's more of them coming. Hey! Estoy aquí! Shut your gut down oh. mouth! That's that, then. Help me load this fool on the horse. A lot of crazy bastards. Seems Mexico's a tough place. Too tough for you, John Marston. I'd stay well clear. Oh, I mean to, Mrs. Adler. Okay, let's go. Let's get out of here. Stealing hats. Well, <laughs> you must be hard up. Come on! It's about time we collect. We got him. I knew you'd be back, Ramon. <laughs> you just can't get enough of me. Put him in the wagon for me, would you? How's the jail? Needs to get fixed up since this nice man blew a hole in it. Yeah. Me and the boys will ride him to San Denis right away this time. Come along, Cortez. Sheriff, before you go. I'll pay you when I deliver them. Plus $75. Exactly. Now, goodbye. Let's go, boys. I'll see you soon, amigos. Shut up. <laughs> Thanks for this, John. You send my money to the bank for me. Of course. I'm supposed to be retired from this. This? For nothing. Just a simple arrest. Money for old rope. If you say so. See you around, partner. How was your holiday? I was making money. And to think, you call me lazy. You've done a great job. Well, that crew did help. A little house, a barn. Look at this place. <laughs> I can't believe it. Thank you. Thank you both. This calls for a drink. 
Young Miss at Dancing School has taught the minuet to tread. Young Miss at Dancing School has taught the minuet to tread. But we go better when we brought our four tack to cat head. Come bustle, bustle, drink about and let us merry be. Our can is full, we'll pump it out and then all hands to see. When horn and hounds the forest rend, his pack the huntsman cheers. When horn and hounds the forest rend, his pack the huntsman cheers. As loud as halloo when we send a broadside to Mount Sears. As loud as halloo when we send a broadside to Mount Sears. Come bustle, bustle, drink about and let us merry be. Our can is full, we'll pump it out and then our hands to see. What's got at sea we spend on shore on sweethearts and our wives. What's got at sea we spend on shore at sweethearts and our wives. And then my boys hoist sail for more thus passes sailors lives. And then my boys hoist sail for more thus passes sailors lives. Come bustle, bustle, drink about and let us merry be. Our can is full, let's fight it out and then our hands to see. Yeah! <laughs> John, get out here. Uncle's gone. He's fine. Let me sleep. Get out here now. <sighs> that fat man will be fine. No, he won't. Skinner's. You think? Of course. My guess is they went that way. But my other guess is they know we're coming after him. What choice do we have? None. We just gotta keep our wits about us. We know this is a trap. <clears throat> Let's go. Okay. I can't see much through this mist. Can you look too? Hold on. We gotta go get him. Careful. Where are they? Where are they? I don't care. Come on! Uh, Charles! Uh, 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 behind you! Alright, Jits! The surprise they've done to you. I gotta get you down. Okay, we've got some time. Let's get Uncle! You're okay, old man. I look okay. You look awful. You'll be okay. Those bastards. We got them. Oh. Looks like we got here just in time. God damn it. I'll carry him. Come on, Uncle. Come on. Here we go. Ready? Crazy! I don't feel good. <sighs> Uncle? Uncle? Hey. We're here. Alright. Let's get you down. Easy. I got you. I got you. Come on. Come on. Let's get him out of Thank you, boys. Don't mention it. I thought I was dead. Uh, don't get all sentimental now, old man. You don't really think you're dying. It's gonna be okay. A few days, you're gonna be just fine. You're a survivor. Easy, easy. Okay. He'll be fine. You think they'll be back? Maybe, but I doubt it. We must have killed most of them. Now, this is your land. Was it theirs once? I don't think so. I met a fellow said the Skinners rode down about two years ago. They're just angry men on a rampage, and we got in their way. Sort of like we used to be? <sighs> yeah, exactly like we used to be. Maybe we should take up torture. <laughs> uh, we got Uncle singing instead of torture. We're gonna be safe here, John. Hmm? You? Your family? 
You'll be safe. I hope so. I really do. If she ever comes back. Always did have that fine way with words. You doing all right, son? Sure, Pop. Can I go see the house? Sure. Just give him some time. He'll warm up. It's quite a place you got here. It's yours. Ours. I should see about that boy. Who's my new rival? Oh, that's Rufus. He's loyal, dumb, and angry, so he reminded us of you. That's your idea of a joke, miss? I guess. Come on! So you happy? I think so. <laughs> and I did good? You did good. So... <laughs> am I forgiven? <laughs> Never. <sighs> you are a hard woman. <laughs> Ma! Pa! Come out here! Sadie! <laughs> You're alive! John, it's... Sadie Adler. <laughs> Well, how'd you know she was... We... I'm... Sorry, I you thought I... You look well. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> uh, well, come on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but tell me about you, darling. No, armed to the teeth like that. I'm a working woman, Abigail. I'm a bounty hunter, bodyguard. I protect the gold prospectors up in the hills. I'm thinking of starting my own transportation business. I was thinking... Maybe if John wanted to earn some money. My husband, uh, he ain't looking for that kind of work. I took on a lot of debt when we bought this place. And you're working for her to pay it off? Yes, sometimes I was. But I thought we said no more of that. No, you said that. What else am I going to do? I'm a goddamn man. It's legal work, Abigail. And I never got killed. It's hunting down fools for the government. Easy. Even Jack could do it. Don't you put those stupid ideas in the boy's head. He's going to do something better than this. Like what? Writing silly stories? I'm sorry, Abigail. Really, I am. I just thought if you wanted to earn some money... How many times do I got to bury you, John Marston? Never. You ain't never burying me. It's legal work that I can handle. There's a... There's something else. Micah? Bounty hunting is one thing, but goddamn Micah? I heard he was up country, or some fellow who sounded just like him. Killed a family, bar a little girl who escaped. Leave Micah alone. Listen, I'm sorry, Abigail. I came by because I was riding by chasing a fella, and I thought John wanted to earn some extra money. <sighs> what is it? 
Abigail, we need the money. Some fella robbed his business. You know, an accountant or something? Came down from Rhodes, I believe. How much does it pay? It pays good. Well, the soft ones usually do. Okay, then. I guess. But Micah? No. All right. John Marston, let's go. Just you bring him back to me. You hear? Of course. Pretty. Oh boy, that our fella? Maybe, but looks more like a local farmer to me. Or what's the lift of one? Is it gone? You, Marshal Thorwell? That I am, ma'am. I'm here to arrest you on behalf of the state of Lemoyne. You're wanted for theft, fraud, and avoiding arrest. Is the monster still out there? No, I think he's gone. Come out! Come on. No shoes. Keep walking. <laughs> Come on. I'm coming. Look out! I think he's gone. Oh, fucking monster. Thurwell! Get out here! Before I come in there and kill you myself! I, I, I'm coming. Pathetic. Waiting to see if that animal ate us? No, ma'am. That weren't it. Yes, it were. Come here! Come here. <laughs> Thurwell, call yourself a man? Well, it's like Abigail says. That's one word for you. I can't believe it. But you think about if this is what you really want. Here, put him down. Go on. Get home to your wife. I'll let you know if I hear anything about Micah. You need a hand taking him in? Him? <clears throat> no, I'm fine. You sure? Yeah. I'll send your share to the bank when I get paid. Thank you. Down <sighs> here before you came back. You're just lucky I'm a soft touch. I should sling you out by your ear. Ah, oh, you always was a cold-hearted lizard of a woman. And you always was someone willing to live off the efforts of others. It's walk or work, old man. I got lumbago. You'll have more than that in a oh, minute. Oh, John, tell her about my health. Do what the lady says. I've worked my fingers to the bone building this place, Abigail Roberts. Marston! Abigail Marston, Miss Marston to you. Miss Marston to you. Why you let him stay? He's actually been pretty useful in a useless sort of way. Who's that? No idea. Friend or foe? We'll soon find out. It's the Gettys boys. From Proghorn Ranch? Yeah. Mr. Milton! Mr. Milton! Duncan! Sir, Ma found some old furniture in the attic. Pa thought maybe you folks would want it as a housewarming present, you know? Uh, they send their regards. Uh, how kind they are. Tell your Ma and Pa we're very touched. Where would you like the furniture? Uh, just... Over here. Then we can arrange. This is real kind of y'all. You saved the ranch. Pa said this is the least he could do. Well, that's about everything. Send your Pa my best regards. Tell him he's got friends for life in me and my family. Bye, sir. Ma'am. I can't believe this. It's so kind. Sure. But there's still some more things that we need to get. How about we take a ride into town? It's been ages since we spent any time together. It has. 
Let's go get the wagon. Okay, let's go. I feel like we ain't done nothing together like this since... since, uh... Let me help you down. Why are you being so courteous? I don't know. There you go. I'm gonna head to the drapers for a minute. Won't take long, but I need to get some materials. You wanna come with me or wait here? And after that, we can go get our photo taken? Yeah, after that, we can get our photo taken. All right, let's get that picture taken. It means that much to you. It does. Today it does. You're out. Uh, hello, madam. Sir. Hello, sir. How can I help you? We're... We'd like to get our photo taken. Oh, a photo. Yes, yes, that I can help you with. Yes. So... Uh, what do we do? I'm sorry, what did, what did you want? Uh, our portrait taken. Oh, well, we do that. Yes, wonderful. Handsome couple, quite something, but you need a background. A background? Yes, we have Niagara Falls, Paris by night. <laughs> we have Mount Vesuvius and its ruins. We have the open prairie. T take, a, take a look. Pick one. What do you think? Ah, this one. Wonderful. That will be simply perfect. You know, I wish I had the Congo River, but they require grass skirts. I couldn't afford them. It's just so exotic. You stay there. I'll make a pose that you feel comfortable with. Well, this is dignified. <sighs> Try to enjoy it. Hey, how's this? Bravo! Now, give me a minute. I'm going to develop this for you. Wait here. Take your time. <laughs> what? Nothing. Nothing at all. Tough guy. Gunslinger. Excuse me? <laughs> Nothing. I didn't say anything. I just posed. Shut up. <laughs> you know... You're not very nice to me. Oh, I'm nicer than you deserve. <laughs> True. <laughs> Here. Came out beautifully. <gasps> sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah oh, look at that face on you. Be quiet. <laughs> what do I owe you? Five dollars. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. I'll see you again. Oh, yes, he'll probably come in for a pose. He seemed to enjoy himself. <laughs> Bye now. <laughs> Matt. Let's go down to the lake for a minute. The lake? Sure. Why, you finally gonna drown yourself? In a manner of speaking, I guess I am. <laughs> Happily so. You're acting real strange. No, I'm not. Come on. You're a silly man, John Marston. What, a, what about Jim Milton? Oh, he's even worse. Let me help you in. <laughs> like I said, mighty strange. I like to row. <laughs> Since when? You can hardly swim. I don't plan on capsizing. I wonder whose boat this is. It don't matter. We'll have it back. I hope they don't think we're... They won't think anything. They'll think we're borrowing. I hope we don't got leaks or nothing. She's seaworthy, okay? <laughs> Relax. Look around. All I can see is a strange man rowing. I thought it was John Marston, but... 
Now I suspect he's been replaced with an imposter. <sighs> Here's good. Ain't it pretty? John, you can't tease me like that. You... Will you marry me? <laughs> Get up. I am married to you. No. I mean, proper. In front of God. You serious? I got this ring. I've had it for a long time. Take it. Serious? It would make me very happy if you would... We've lived a lot of lives. Let's just live this one from now on. You and me, Jack, a family, by law. John, I, I never... I didn't know what mattered to you. It didn't. But now it does. If you think this is dumb, I'm... I'm sorry. <laughs> Shut up, you silly man, and kiss me. <laughs> put down his sword and, and took up his plow. I love it. I truly love it. Abigail, dear, what's for dinner? <laughs> what's for dinner? Away with you, you no-good parasite. You cook. Actually, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> John, come out here. Hey, John. Abigail. Sadie. Charles. I found him. I found Micah. No. I got a lead. One of his boys wanted for murdering a woman. Been seen drinking in Strawberry. If we can get to him, he'll lead us to Micah. But I gotta go now. You coming? No. He's not coming. I will. That's your business. His business is here. Yeah. Yeah, I'll ride with you. No, I'm... <laughs> I'm begging you. No! You risk all this? For what? For Micah? All this? All this wouldn't exist if it weren't for Arthur, Sadie, and all the folks that fell. If I let him go, this place ain't no more real than... than one of Jack's dragons. I'm begging you. And I'm begging you to understand. This is it. This is... Please. Please try to... <laughs> I ain't got no other choice. Keep an eye on the place for me. Of course. Please! <laughs> Let's go kill this son of a bitch, then. Yeah. Oh, damn it. Joe, oh, you gonna take a turn? Hey, 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 we're all buddies, ain't we? Sure, Sadie. With pleasure. Hey, 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 now! Where's Micah? Micah? Why ain't seen? 
No, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. Make him talk, Joan. Wait, 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 wait. Micah! Where? Oh, oh, oh. Where's Micah? I don't know. I ain't seen him. We fell out. And you know what? I'm bored of this. Let's hang the bastard. What? Good idea. Oh, wait, hold on. Bring him up to the gallows. Here we go. Everyone loves it hanging. Come on. I told you. Quit squirming. Listen, Claude. Stop, please. Stay away. You heard the lady. Get up there. I, I swear. Keep moving. Hold on. No, move. No, 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 no. Come here, you ah. bastard. Move it. Come on, move. Here, I want you stood right here. Deal. All right, string the no good murder ambassador up. Let's try this again. Uh, Where's Mike? Uh, Where's Mike? I already told you I ain't seen him. You lie. It ain't my fault. He tried to kill me. Where's Micah? Talk, or I'll pull this lever. Talk. No, 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 no. Stop! Wait, 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 wait. He, he's up in the mountains. I think he's, he's up in Mount Hagen. He got a whole gang now. Bad man. Doing bad things. I, I tried to stop him from murdering that little girl. We fell out. Honest. Please, I'm, I'm one of the good guys. Hang him. Yeah, no. No. There ain't no need. No. He's dead. Thank you. Well done. Come on. The little rat said Mount Hagen. It's a long ride. Let's finish this. Naka? We're coming for you. Yeah! Take us up into the high mountains. Lead the way. There's an old watchtower up there they might be using for a camp. Too fine. Come on. You're bleeding pretty bad. Ain't nothing. You should sit down. I'm fine. You're dying. I'll be fine. Just sit. It's okay. I, I ain't dying. I ain't. I hope not. I ain't dying. Just go get him. I'll be fine. I just need to rest. Uh, okay. 
Charles, stay with her. Charles, you worry about yourself. I'll be up there Look who it is. in a minute. Ain't you got a habit? It is. Ain't you got a habit of just showing up? Well, I got something to take care of, sure. Scarface, did you miss me? Not much. Been a few years. <laughs> How's that, uh, mm, whore of yours? She's good. Didn't reckon I should waste my time killing you. But I felt different. So it seems. Well, maybe after all this is over, I'll go pay her a call. Hm? And the boy. Whatever you say. It's just here! Come take a look! <laughs> Come on now, Micah! At least tell like a man! <laughs> Hell fire. It's just like old times. <laughs> Come on. You turn around and start walking. You got me. Just like old times. Hmm? All manner of folk paying social calls. Hello, son. Mrs. Adler. It's been quite a while. Now, John. Now, what were you saying? Dutch and I are teaming up once more. We got money, we got dreams. Join us, John. Join us. Let her go. No, I can't do that, John. Dutch. Dutch, come on now. You shot at me, son. You started. You betrayed me. I could say the same as you. I was trying to do my best. You? You just cared for yourself. I think differently. Join us. Join us, John. Let her go! She ain't well. I don't want to kill you, John. Arthur saved my life. More than once. Arthur's been dead a long time. This is a new century. Dutch. Dutch. We all did our best for you. Ain't our fault. Things turned out the way they did. Dutch, killing me won't solve nothing. Put down your gun, Marston. Say something, Dutch. Say something. I ain't got too much to say no more. <laughs> He shot me. <laughs> you shot me pretty good. Thank you.
You okay? Fine. You're crazy. Well, I hope so. Help me up. Ugh. Let's go get Charles. There's money. Lots of money. In the cabin. It's black water. I'll go see. Hurry up. I got a wedding I want to go to. It's over, Abigail. It's all over. <laughs> I'm going to where the sun burns. All right, John Marson. Since you bought this millstone around our necks, we better try and keep this place going. I paid our debts with that money, I... Uh... I don't want to talk about that money. No more of that... It's over, Abigail. I'm sure. Then get to work on this ranch you own. I'm raising your boy. Yes, ma'am. Are you being sarcastic, John Marston? Me? <laughs> Never. Good. Anyway, I thought you liked this place. No, John, I don't like it. I love it. It's home. <laughs> 